this video we will learn about router link in angular first we will understand what is the use of router link in angular as of now in this application we are passing the url manually in the browser like this um, if i want to open how it works page i have to enter the url like this but we cannot use like this in real time application in real time application we have to use link or button on click of that uh, button or links user can navigate among all the pages in the application let's see how can we implement the same feature in the application here in app component.html file let's create a div inside the div i want to create a simple link link text uh, text will be about us in html generally we use this href here we have to pass the route for this about us page here the path will be about us okay now copy this line and paste it below that now the second link will be how it works and we can copy the path from app routing module file now copy this line and let's create one more link for login page link text will be login and for login path will be auth then login so update this url path and then login okay save the changes let's see in the browser you can see here we have these links but there is no space in between them okay now go back to vs code editor here let's open this app component.scss file here let's write margin right 10 pixel and save the changes see you now we have some space in between all these links okay now click this about us we are in the about us page now click this how it works we are getting this page now click this login page here we have in login page here we have the updated url also now it is working fine but uh, there is a, some problem in this approach so right click here and choose inspect and click this network tab whenever i click this link we have to notice some changes in two places first place is this browser tab and second place is this network tab see here uh, if i click this about us page this page is refreshed and uh, here we are getting all the uh, files from the application now if i click on this login again uh, there was a refresh again we are getting all the pages angular is a single page application that should not be loading on browser side all the loading should take place in a single page so in our scenario this single page application is not working although it's working fine but this is not a correct way in angular we can handle this situation by using a router link now go back to vs code editor in app component.html file instead of using this href now i will use router link so replace uh, all the href save the changes now go back to browser if i click the how it works page there is no refresh or loading in the browser and there is no change in the network tab now let's click this about us page this time also there is no change in the network tab and there is no loading in the browser okay now we can say this is a perfect single page application
okay in this application we have some routes there we have to pass the value in the parameter okay now go back to uh, public routing module see here uh, we have this route in this route uh, first we will use single parameter that is id only so let's remove this author and uh, author id now let's see how to call this particular route using router link i want to provide this uh, route in public component.html file here let's create a link here instead of this href now we will use router link and then book details we can copy this path from public routing module book details okay. copy this here first we have to write public and then book details then let's say our id is outcoded value 7 okay save the changes now let's create a one more link in the app component file here the path will be public and then all books save the changes see you we have one more link okay click this all books now we have one more link okay click this book details it is working fine but in real time application uh, we do not pass this value as an outcoded value okay now in most of the cases we can get the id in two places that is uh, this public component and this uh, public dot component dot html file okay let's see how to get value from this component let's open this public component here let's create a property let's say book id let's type number assign some value let's say 15 Now I want to pass this book ID um, in this public HTML file. Okay, we can do that in two ways. Uh, first one is interpolation. So here we can do like this. And save the changes. See here we have the book id in the url so this is the first method in second method we have to use square bracket so here let's use the square bracket on router link and here also use square bracket remove this book id and then use single quote because this part is out coded like this then put a comma here here we can pass the id book id if it is out coded we can use single quote and we can write the value okay if it is dynamic simply we can use name of the property like this okay now save the changes in component file let's update the value let's say 10 and save the changes let's see in the browser 
click this book details see here we have the updated id value here so it is working fine now go back to vs code editor in public routing module now we can use author id port here here let's add outcoded text author and then colon author id save the changes now in public component.html file here we can add in single quote author this is hard coded text and put comma now let's say 35 is the author id value it is hard coded value so we are using single quote here now save the changes go back to the browser click this all books and click this book details see here here we are having book id and author id okay now let's use dynamic value for this author id okay for that go back to vs code editor in public component file let's create one more property name will be let's say author id and let's say id value 100 save the changes in public html file okay copy this author id name here yeah, remove this single quote now we are using dynamic value okay save the changes go back to the browser click this book details here we have updated author id this is how we can pass dynamic data in router link in router link we can also use relative path in public html file uh, copy this link and paste it in the app component file here yeah, let's say we are not having this property in app component so let's use outcoded value instead of this property okay save the changes okay you can see here uh, we have this details link let's update the link name let's say book details app and save the changes let's see in the browser see here uh, we have this link okay now click this one so it is working fine now click this one here we are getting dynamic value so this is also working fine now go back to vs code editor here we are using this link in root level so here we have to provide the complete url but uh, in public uh, component.html file here already we are in public module here no need to provide this um, public here so let's remove it we can use this link like this let's see in the browser so everything is working fine now click this login so this is also work fine okay always no need to provide complete path instead we can use relative path also in router link if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this